the old man comes out here first thing in the morning dropping some knowledge out here. He had this idea. If you, if you like really getting straight lines and straight runs with your wire, um, what we're gonna try to do is we actually have like some welding rod here. Um, maybe we'll get a little heavier one than this, I'm not sure, but we're just gonna lay this kind of where we want our straight runs to land. And uh, we'll maybe just like kind of tape that down or something. And then we'll just zip tie wires to that wire so everything stays nice and straight. We can get it nice and squared up. And then at the end, we'll just slide that guy out. And uh, that's gonna be, I think that's gonna work. We're gonna try that out, see if we can kind of have all the wires kind of join a big loom here, you know, and then it's gonna turn and all of these wires will be joining the loom here. And uh, these wires will come around. We'll kind of have a run down the middle. And then of course, uh, you know, everything kind of probably square up and go this way because a lot of stuff heads to the back of the car here um, all of the grounds are kind of headed here and all the hots are kind of headed over here so as you can see we got some spaghetti that we're dealing with here today but hopefully by the end of the day this looks a little cleaner hopefully <laughs> been working towards the back of the car in the transmission area so kind of what I've accomplished is I created this little loom of wire coming out of here I routed it down towards the bottom zip tied it here I have my transmission temp wire exiting as such um, I brought the rest of the wires up here um, it's hard to see under here but I got a little quick connector in there to go ahead and connect to the transmission fan up here and then I have one more wire hanging out the back where we're gonna incorporate a Jones transmission pump. Uh, more information coming on that real soon, but uh, just kind of getting prepared for that. Meanwhile, the old man is up front making some progress, uh, starting to lay things out as I kind of described. So if you're anything like me, uh, you you live in a very small community. We don't have a hardware store local to us. And so we don't have any of these kind of connectors, just the bare metal crimp style connectors. So what we've been doing is just kind of grinding off the insulation, um, taking your standard insulated connector and, and turning it into this. It kind of gives you a little bit cleaner look to use something like this. Um, you know, you end up just crimping it on and then heat shrink over top of it. Uh, instead of having a bajillion of these connectors all over your race car, uh, you just end up with a little bit cleaner, more professional look. Um, if we had a hardware store, we'd go buy something like this, but 
here's another way. All right, guys, so when you're rewiring an older car like this, uh, it's always hard to figure out where do you start or where do you stop, so. Yeah, we weren't gonna do the gauges. No. The gauges are gonna get redone. Here's the, here's the thought. The plan is we're gonna tear all this out because this is an eyesore, really. This is kind of an aesthetic thing. It'd be nice to have this look a little bit nicer. And, uh, you know, it's going to look really, really nice right here. We don't want an eyesore right here. So what we're going to plan on doing here is I'm going to make a bracket out of this angle aluminum here. I'm going to take this. We're going to make a bracket that goes from here all the way across to back here. And on that bracket, we will be able to mount terminal strips wherever we like. And uh, so the idea being, you know, like the button switches here, all of this wiring, the stuff going into the delay box, all of the lights and other wires going to the gauges, we'll, we'll be able to kind of wire that up really nice, have one nice loom here, and then everything connecting to these uh, terminal strips. So that's kind of the plan now. What's that? This must be the tail light wire. So that one we gotta mark. Okay. So make this the hot and then put a groundy over here. Yeah, I'd rather have the ground on this side just because of these metal things being around it. Yep. Alright, so we're gonna put some hot wires over here. 12 volts DC potential energy source. So well we can pull this wire up, put it in that other tube and go at the back. Probably smarter than what I just said. All right guys, this is where we're gonna call it quits for the weekend. I don't really remember what it looked like this morning. I feel like we made a little bit of progress, but right now it just looks like such a mess that you probably don't believe me, but we did get some stuff done. It was slow going a little bit in the middle there, but um, we do have quite a bit of the wiring to this relay board completed here. Um, a lot of the ignition box is connected up here. This is kind of gonna get squared up and look a bit better down here. We incorporated this kind of bridge piece of aluminum into the car so we could have a couple terminal strips mounted in here. So then all of our gauge lighting, 
and our button switches and stuff that kind of needs to come from up here. We can have a nice loom here and we'll swing some connectors through these terminals and then out the other side to the delay box or to wherever they're going. Uh, we're bringing power up here and we got ground going on right here. So, like I said, it's kind of hard to see what's going on right now, but it's going. Thank goodness for this awesome, awesome wiring diagram, courtesy of K&R Performance. This is a savior in a lot of situations. It's very, very helpful. Dad, what's your thoughts about the first uh, rewiring weekend adventures? Well, I wish we would have just tore everything out and started from scratch, but I didn't think we were going to redo any of the gauge work. <laughs> Until I... All that stuff worked. <laughs> You just didn't like how it looked, so <laughs> we're redoing everything, and now it kind of sucks you're halfway through it and tearing out stuff. But it's, a guy should just start from scratch. That's just how I can imagine wiring a car like this from new, with everything new. You know, like now we gotta chase wires back because we don't have wiring diagrams for a lot of the pieces that we're trying to wire. Yeah, it'd be nice. Make sure yeah. that everything is what it is before we tear it out and all that kind of stuff. But doing a car from new with this kit, it'd be fun. Oh man, it's and it's fun right now. I'm having fun and I'm learning a ton. And like I said, the wiring diagram, super, super helpful. Everything is labeled really well. I'm not just talking about the diagram, I'm talking about the board itself, um, the switch panel, and the wires themselves. Everything is labeled, everything lines up, and it works very, very well. And it pretty much includes everything in the kit that you need. Uh, anything that we didn't have in the kit is because we're kind of like, changing other components in other areas of the car you know not something that the kit would really come with i guess but and one of the best parts about this can't say this about too many things you do nowadays it all seems like really quality stuff to work with i'm not mad because yeah. threads are bad or ends are weak right it's quality pieces yeah the wire is very very flexible it's got mtw wire it's not you're not you're not going to find any thhn wire or anything like that has very, very flexible, easy to use, easy to strip wire. You aren't gonna be beating up your hands or anything like that. You can lay it out real nice, make 90 degree corners very, very easily. And I mean, we're not wiring professionals by any means, definitely not me, but I feel like at the end of the day, we're gonna have something that we can still be pretty dang proud of. And we would not be able to make it this level at all. Uh, without having the KNR Performance Super Duty wiring kit. So I have a discount code if you are interested at anything over at KNR Performance. You go on their website, you can get the KNR Super Duty wiring kit, Pro Cube delay box, dial in boards, anything that you need over there. Use discount code GALLSTAR5. Save yourself 5% off of your entire order. KNRPerformance.com. Top of the line stuff. It's just awesome. Go check them out. That's gonna wrap up another video, you guys. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, all the things. If you're tired of this GoPro footage and the poor audio quality, consider hitting up the Gallstar TV swag shop so I can get a little bit more money for a new camera. I would love to bring uh, that higher quality camera content back to the channel. Um, so unfortunate event when Vera and I were wrestling down in the basement and uh, you know she kind of clipped the corner of the tripod stand with the pillow and the camera took a tumble. Broke, my beloved. Oh, I love that camera. We've been through so much. But, uh, all right, check out the Gall Star TV swag shop. All the things, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace. If you liked this video, let YouTube know. Please hit the like button, click subscribe, and visit the Gall Star TV swag shop to help support the creation of more videos.